Hey everyone. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Lizzie, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Been a crazy week and today I've just basically stayed in bed. But how are you? Uh, not bad. You know, I feel like the weekend always goes by it, it goes by so quickly. So yeah. and then today we have a bit of a busy day. We're taking our, our dog to the vet um in the early afternoon. So I feel like it kind of cuts my day in half. And then yeah. but I do have I did have a productive Saturday. I took down all the Halloween decorations and the fall decorations. So at least I have like a like a clean canvas or a, a plain canvas or empty canvas <laughs> so that yeah. I can start decorating for Christmas. And at uh, Lizzie, we are kind of matching like our shirts. We are. <laughs> Kind of, and guys, this was not planned. <laughs> I've noticed that you've got some Christmas decorations behind you now. I do. Let me see if I can move. Oh, other side. So this thing right here, oh, oh, it lights up, but it's off right now. And then this is the Mickey head zipper from last year. And then yeah. um, just like a little um, necklace just to put out myself when I go to Disney next month and oh hold on my screen went away okay and it has like jingles in it so I, I am super excited to be like jingling my way around uh Disney and uh hey everybody that's in the chat hey. park in here Lizzie's mom Dominic Mac Dorks thank you uh for being here happy Sunday thank you for spending your Sunday with us yes we have a we have a lot to talk about today too don't we Lizzie we do, like, way more than an hour, but we'll try our best to get through it all. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because Lizzie and I were talking backstage, um, and we were talking about just some of the things that um, that we wanted to talk about today, and just to kind of get our source a little organized. Um, so, so I am pretty excited. I have like a little notepad here, a little pen, and just uh, getting organized. Good morning, good afternoon, Carrie. Um, so should we just jump right into it, Lizzie? Yeah, so the biggest news, I suppose, this week is that we have been given December's sneak peek of the Minnie Mouse Mine attraction. But mm -hmm. since it is November's this week, I believe you're getting it Tuesday and we're getting it Wednesday, I thought mm -hmm. we would show that first. Yes, so, so here we have the Minnie Mouse Mine attraction Jungle Cruise. Here in the US, we're getting our merch pass on Tuesday, November 17. But something that is, is Interesting. It's kind of I'm kind of curious. Uh, I was telling Lizzie that here in the U.S., um, Shop Disney had a little, um, I guess, disclaimer type thing saying that the mug is not going to be available through Merch Pass on the 17th. The mug is going to be available on the 25th. I'm assuming probably the 25th is when the um, items are going to be available for the public to purchase. You know, outside of Merch Pass. But I wonder why it worked out that way where the mug is going to be uh, released separately maybe it's um i don't know some sort of maybe production issue and be somehow it got delayed or maybe they know that the mugs typically stick around a little longer i don't know what do you think about that lizzie yeah it's very strange because i'm looking at the shop disney uk post and we haven't got a disclaimer like that I remember when you got delayed and when she took her you know summer vacation that it oh, was yeah. something to do with a stock issue like they came from somewhere that the UK could get them and the US couldn't so maybe the mug is having a similar issue again but it's very strange and it's not really something that needed to be on Merch Pass anyway was it really because yeah. the mugs don't typically sell out very quickly. Yeah I agree and I mean I think I mean I don't want to sound mean, but like the mug doesn't look like anything that would sell out right away. I feel like the design yeah. on it is nothing like crazy. You know, I mean, it's not ugly, but it's nothing that I'm that people will be like, oh my gosh, that's the one thing that I want the mug because it's the best mug I've ever seen in my life. But um, I don't know. I mean, I think that uh, this particular design to me it, it's fun i i, I kind of like the cheetah print on it. it it i think it's just a fun design i'm not necessarily my favorite uh for this specific release i'm only going to go for the pins i've been going for the ears for a lot of the releases but i'm not i'm not feeling these ears so i think i'm just going to do uh the pins on this so Lizzie, are you going to go for the pins and the plush only or are you going to try to go for anything else um we're going for pins, plush, and mug like we usually do because um, okay. the way my mum's got them set up, we've got this like 
inbuilt cabinet in the kitchen and there's six mugs on the top shelf and there will be six months six mugs on the bottom shelf so we can't really miss out on a mug um but yeah it's only the plush i like this month i think the patterns go well on her as an outfit but as ears and the bag go i don't think it looks very good <laughs> Yeah, it's um it, the design is fun, definitely fun, but not one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not one of my favorites. I mean, it, it's not my least favorite. It's not Dumbo, so I was just say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like it's the Dumbo one. My goodness. <laughs> but you know, I'm just hoping it's quite smooth because I haven't seen that many people say they're loving this one. So we could potentially have quite an easy checkout experience. And the one I was most worried about was December's. But I'm actually seeing a lot of negative comments on December's as well. Yeah, I, you know what? I have seen a lot of comments on Instagram of people not necessarily being negative about it, but more like disappointed because they hope that the, design was going to be a little different i mean i kind of feel i'm not disappointed necessarily by it but i thought it, we were going to have something different i thought that yeah. the December's theme was going to be just the castle itself not necessarily you know nighttime fireworks and you know the castle finale um which i can see why they would need a, a dark or a black background so that the fireworks are more noticeable but i feel like it kind of takes away from the design um i don't know i mean i do like the ears i think they're cute and of course you know i'm going for the pins as well but i don't if i don't get the ears it won't be the end of the world i really want to just get the pins because you know i've been collecting yeah. all the pins but eh, i'm like 50 50 on this um i'm not crazy about it i i just think that that dark background just kind of takes away from the castle and I, I don't know what do you think yeah i mean i don't think the promo shot's done very well but have any of them been if we're completely honest yeah. like the very dark purple means that the ears of the bag and the plush you can't really see that well so True. i personally think that the ears look quite nice mm -hmm. but like if if the mini plush had ears like the actual ears, then it would be a lot better. But I think her fireworks are a bit too over the top. But again, it could just be how bad the promo shot is. I always feel terrible saying that because there's someone <laughs> at Disney who worked really hard on it. But the plushes never, ever look exactly like this. So there's got to be something going on with like the lighting or the photoshopping or something. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the actual plush Minnie having uh, fireworks in her ears. Like, poor Minnie. <laughs> I know. Like, you know, like, I feel like that's something that maybe could have been added to, like, the bow. I know that yeah. they're trying to make everything kind of, like, uniform, you know. But uh, it's like, wow, Minnie, that must hurt. You got fireworks coming out of your ears. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> It's one of those, I said to you before the stream, that you can never see Minnie's skirt. So we don't know whether there's fireworks again on the skirt or whether there's going to be a big Sleeping Beauty castle or anything. I mean, if the bag's anything to go by, it should just be fireworks. But I, I would really like a castle on her skirt in the same way. I think that, that you know, cute. we've got the train on the Big Thunder Mountain Minnie and things like that. I think so. I was looking at McDork's comment. Um, they're saying, uh, I feel like the fireworks seem a little cheap looking. Uh, eh, mm, I can see that. I mean, I don't know. Like you said, I'm sure that obviously the, coming up with these designs is not an easy thing, especially since Disney has had so many different designs. So they got to make sure that it doesn't look like anything else they've done before. So I can see how it could be a little different coming up with a different design each time. I mean, it's yeah. definitely fun looking. I just feel like the color scheme is a little mm, meh. You know, I don't know. Yeah. I, but again, I'm still going for the pins and the ears. And good morning, Ryan, the Frog Prince vlog. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, so, uh, I mean, we'll, we'll see. Uh, the, the one thing that I keep on thinking is, what are they going to come out with for next year? You know, are oh, we going to have another? Right? Are we going to have another like Mickey type of um, 
um, what should I call it? A collection or mini, or are we going to focus more on like upcoming movie anniversaries? Um, I know that, you know, we're celebrating Tangle's anniversary next year. We also going to next year, we're going to celebrate uh, beauty and the beast anniversary. I don't know if they're going to do something similar to like Disney wisdom where we just had like, kind of like the sidekicks and things like that. So I don't know if next year they'll do like an anniversary type thing. So mm -hmm. I do oh have goodness. an idea, but I've just got to say one more thing about this. I mean, I yeah. will get the pins, the push and the mug like I normally do, but fireworks are a tough spot for me at the minute because I'm sure Park Pioneer will agree. Um, myself and my boyfriend Joe have been talking about this. There has been non-stop fireworks in the UK for about three weeks now. I am sick of fireworks. I really? Do fireworks anyway. Yeah, because um, you had bonfire night on the 5th of November, which celebrates a guy trying to blow up our parliament building and there's been some other festivals and i think because everyone's like stuck inside they've just been going outside and setting off fireworks but yeah fireworks aren't my favorite thing so i would have liked it to be more castle themed but i'm gonna propose a very strange idea okay and i'm gonna stop sharing the screen <laughs> okay next year is 20 years of Monsters Inc. Okay. It was released in 2001. So instead of Alien Remix, we have Sully Remix and these different characters from Pixar films. So you've got Sully as Woody and you've got Sully as like Coco and things like that. Like, okay. You know I, it. I think that would be the only thing that I would go into now because I have said I'm not doing another monthly collection. But if you did Alien Remix but with Sully, that would be iconic. And I think it would be very popular because, you know, I'm not the only person who loves Sully. And, like, even people who just moderately like Sully are impressed by all of my Sullys. And I'm running out of Sullys that I can buy. So if they did, like, a Sully remix, that would be really, really cool. Okay. I mean, I can see that. And then you would be, you would be like, going crazy with these releases. Yeah. I mean, they have plushies, pins, mugs, and anything like that. You, you would just have to get every single yeah. item every month but you know what it would be it would be really fun to collect and then i mean i would be really excited for you because i know how much you love Sully. and um yeah. i did see park pioneers comment about maybe it's pixar related yeah maybe they've kind of left pixar out in all of these collections really so it, it might be high time like i think the only one following like the mickey the donald and the mini collections that i would collect now is donald and um, not donald goofy i wouldn't collect a pluto collection i wouldn't collect a daisy collection i think goofy would be the only one that really tempted me but if we're thinking of something along more the lines of wisdom then they'd probably go with pixar because yeah um and before we move on i was looking at dominic's comments so chappelle happy birthday. happy birthday uh we hope you have a lovely birthday lovely sunday you know and dominic and chappelle and everybody thinks we're always you know joining us you guys are yeah. part of the family so again chappelle happy 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 birthday and in spanish happy feliz birthday. cumpleaños in spanish for you too um, I was looking at McDirk's comment. That collection looks like it's going to Target. <laughs> <laughs> well, Target has had a lot of uh, Disney releases yeah. lately. So um, it, that is pretty funny. Yeah, I mean, I don't... I did say what I was kind of expecting from December. So I thought, you know, because it was the 65th this year, it would be like Sapphire Blue with Silver um you know kind of going with the theme of the 65th but the problem is this wasn't meant to tie in with the 65th so i suppose they can't really do anything that relates to it but i just thought it would have looked nice to go with everybody's already pre-purchased 65th anniversary merch because let's face it because it was all released online i think at least one person in every country has something of the 65th don't they yeah that's true. It's funny because this morning I was looking at uh, my Amazon orders and I have, um, uh, whatchamacallit, I have, a, I had pre-ordered, oh my goodness. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> the the pins uh the, the lounge fly uh 65th anniversary pins that were released through amazon they were a pre-order uh, some time ago so i believe they should be shipping soon too so like you said i feel like a lot of people have had um you know a little piece of this this thing that 65th anniversary yeah. just because of how things are kind of like going on um yeah. so yeah I have some very exciting sneak peeks today. Um, I was scrolling through the Wishables group before I came on here to do the stream. And there's been two leaks of Wishables this week. According yeah. to the posts, they've actually been put on sale too early. So who knows which one is going to be released on Wednesday, but it is pretty much confirmed that it's Wednesday that the Wishables are going to come out. They're supposed to be the first Wednesday of every month but they haven't been coming out the first Wednesday of every month, so I imagine that they've kind of fell behind with production and they can't get them in time, which means that Wishables Wednesday really needs to change because it's not the first Wednesday anymore. Yeah. But I think... I, I don't actually know how to share a picture on my screen, but we'll try. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. I almost started laughing. So Dirk, my husband, he texted me. He's trying to be funny. He's like, can you say happy birthday to Chris? P bacon and as I'm reading it crispy bacon like really <laughs> so he just like I almost was like hey happy birthday to crispy bacon <laughs> like really? imagine if you'd done that no, so I'm yeah, gonna share sure. this one first yeah because he watches our stream and um yeah I was like really <laughs> that's something Joe would do it honestly is so this <laughs> is, so is the we did think it would be inside out it hasn't been confirmed that it's going to be inside out but this, I did say, didn't I, that I'd like Bing Bong to be the completer. Yeah. Because he, Bing Bong's kind of on his own anyway. Like, I hate to say that, but he's not one of the emotions. So he should be the completer and then just have all of the emotions in the bag. I haven't actually seen the bag yet, which is frustrating because there's got to be five. They can't make one of them a chase. They've There's just got to be five options in the bag, hasn't there, really? That I mean, that is that is such a key one, and you know, I'm pretty impressed that you called this. You know, that yeah. that you were like, that's gonna be the completer. Like you, you definitely know your wishables, and yeah, like I think that's a key one. I won't be collecting these wishables because you know I'm not really a wishables collector. Just just of things that I actually you know collect, yeah. like like Beauty and the Beast and things like that. But I do think that Bing Bong looks so cute. So. I am curious to see what else they're going to come out with for um, next month. But do you have the rest of the, um, do you have a picture of the other uh, wishables for this collection? Um, I don't have the bag yet. Um, I have a feeling that they've only put Bing Bong out by himself. And I was looking through trying to see if someone had taken a picture of the bag and they hadn't. Because it's just weird to me because there's always four. So they could have not done Bing Bong entirely and just had one of the emotions as the completer. Like, for example, anger, because he would be the easiest to feel out given his weird shape. Um, Park Pioneer think that disgust and fear will be together in one wishable. Okay. Which is, I suppose they could. I mean, they, they did the um, Runaway Railway car, didn't they? That had Mickey and Minnie in the car together. So they could do like two wishables in one, but I don't know why they do Bing Bong if you're not going to have all five emotions. But unless yeah. one will be the case of the other, because the only other chase I can think of is having anger normally, and anger, you know, when he kind of like gets a flame on his head, yeah, and gets really really angry. They could do that, but that's not a great idea for a chase. I don't think. Um. Joe also says they're usually together on pins. So, yeah, they could probably be together, especially because of how thin Fear is. He's like a stick. He kind of reminds me of the stick insect from A Bug's Life, like the way Aww. he's been drawn <laughs> and kind of his whole character. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the same animator worked on both characters because they're very similar. But... This isn't the only wishable set I managed to find today. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Hello, this is my face staring at my screen. Um, because I'm very confused by the fact that another wishable set has been released today. That's not 
normal. Like, really? They, should, they shouldn't be out before they're on sale anyway. But this is what I also saw. Oh, so okay. the Aladdin set has been accidentally put out in a Disney store. I don't know where this person is from, but they are Make a Wish. I was just going to say that. I just if noticed, you noticed that recently. There's like a lot of Make a Wish stuff out. There's the yes. whole Make a Wish range in the park. So Walt Disney World, Disneyland, mm -hmm. Disneyland Paris all have their own spirit jerseys. The UK just got a Make a Wish plush. So I'm really thinking that these might be Octobers. Um, Octobers were in November. These might be Novembers <laughs> because it makes sense to bring out all the Make a Wish things now. I gotcha. I mean, I can see how the reason why we have maybe two wishable releases within a month is because they are part of that Make a Wish collection, which it seems like it's their own thing, right? We've seen yeah. backpacks, we saw a pin, there was a spare jersey, um, uh, there were ears. So I can see how this is kind of like part of it since they've had a little bit of everything um, themed to make a wish or kind of like to help make a wish. I can see how they would also do like yeah. same thing with wishables. Um, and I think this is such a cute um, collection. Back darks are like, gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> and you know, these are so cute. I really like the carpet. I think it looks so yeah. cute. The carpet's really, really cute. So, like, if you can squint at the bag, you've got the carpet, Aladdin, Jasmine, and the lamp, which must Ooh. mean that the genie is the completer. So I feel like I might just buy the genie on his own and not get the, you know, the mystery ones because Aladdin isn't one of my favourite films. I actually prefer the live action to the animated, and I know that someone's going to have a go at me in the comments, <laughs> but I just have personal preferences. Um, but I think the chase could possibly be Jasmine in her um, inappropriate red outfit, shall we say? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. But you know what? It could be the genie too, like you said. It's funny because I was looking at the design of the uh, lamp on the bag compared to the wishable behind uh, Jasmine. And the yeah. wishable to me looks like a pastry from here. <laughs> It does, does it? actually. Like, it's a bit like a croissant. <laughs> right? So I was just like, oh, we have the carpet, jasmine, and some sort of pastry. And then <laughs> when I look at the bag, I'm like, oh my goodness, that must be the lamp. But maybe, I mean, like with all the pictures that we see, maybe once we see it in person or get better pictures, maybe it'll look yeah. more like the lamp rather than a croissant. But yeah. I mean, whoever posted that is going to be making crazy money now. Because, oh, yeah. you know. They're not out yet. They're not on general sale. So they've probably just bought as many as they were allowed to and now they're selling them for, you know, yeah. double retail because they are $10. I, I don't usually buy them for over retail unless I absolutely have to. Have to do right. it with my Walt. Oh, yeah. Like I went to the Disney store, my local Disney store yesterday, and I was just so focused on getting the uh, Disney Designer Collection Midnight Masquerade Villains pins that I was missing because they typically have them at the register. Oh, yeah. So I went like with like um, uh, just like just focused on like going to the register. So I didn't look at anything else. It's like I had like um, oh my gosh, what do you call those things that you put on horses when they are gonna race? Is it uh, blindfolds or something? Um, and oh my, I the, think we call them blinkers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I, I don't know. <laughs> so um, anyway, just bear with me. <laughs> so it's like I didn't have eyes for anything other than like making it to the register and getting my pins. So I didn't look at like any wishables or anything that they had. So maybe next time I go, I'll, I'll see if they have those. Because um, I mean, they have to be available somewhere if they're trying to, you yeah. know, help out make a wish. They have to be sold somewhere. Um, but I think these are actually really cute. Um, and um, yeah, I don't know what my next wishable purchase is going to be. I don't think it's going to be Aladdin, even though it's a cute one. But if they do come out with um, old castles, like I've said before, or a uh, whole yeah. frame Roger Rabbit set, maybe I'll go for those. I mean, they could do a full castle set because you only really need like four. Mm -hmm. And they've got six castles, so they could do that. But the only thing is they'd have to do something different to Sleeping Beauty Castle and Cinderella Castle, given that they've already done it before. 
and obviously Tokyo's Cinderella Castle is almost identical to Cinderella Castle in Walt Disney World. The only difference is like I think the colouring is slightly different and I think one might be slightly taller than the other. So I don't know how they'd do that, but I'd love to see Disneyland Paris's castle as a wishable. That would just be so cute. I'm just obsessed with anything that's the Disneyland Paris castle. I'm biased towards it. Oh, um, well, I can't wait to go to Disneyland Paris. It's on the bucket list. So maybe one of these yeah. days. Uh... I know what you mean about um, walking into a shop with like, like you just focused on that one thing. I went to Aldi <clears> this <throat> morning, which is like a German food store. We have Aldi and I knew here they had. Oh yeah, you do, don't mm -hmm. you? I watched a video once and apparently there's two Aldis in oh, America. Okay. There's Aldi North and Aldi South or something, but one's now called, I think it was Trader Joe's. I think okay. Aldi changed its name to Trader Joe's, but they have this Disney bedding in at the moment. So like we get in the door and my mum's looking at whatever she was looking at. I think it was cereal or something. I just run <laughs> and I managed to get this the child bed in that is so and cute I'm absolutely obsessed with it so it's not going up until january because next weekend i'm putting my christmas bedding on but like whenever i go to a store and i have something in mind that i want to get i run to that thing first so that i'm not disappointed because my head tells me that if i don't go straight there someone else will buy it because they'll beat me to it so i naturally just go straight there yeah, especially when it's like limited edition items, you know, like if, if there's something left, better uh, <laughs> yeah. run there. So, but um, yeah, I mean, I'm curious to see what they uh, come out with for uh, December. So uh, we will see. Um, I was looking at Dominic's question, which Disney character, if they were real, would be the most <laughs> difficult to go to Disneyland with? Um, I feel like I've answered this question before and I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I mean like a Q and A or something. And I'm trying to remember who I said, um, Hmm. Difficult to go to Disneyland with. Um, Hmm. I'm thinking, um, I can think of like different, um, I can think of, um, I mean, I guess Dory would need to be able to walk, but I feel like Dory would always get lost <laughs> and not know where she is. Um, hmm. And um, I feel like Vanellope would probably be also kind of tough to go with because you probably want to just do all these things at the same time and just kind of like, um, yeah. I can't think of it. I mean, Megdark said Stitch. I can see how, but at, but at the same time, I feel like it would be fun uh, to go with Stitch. Um, yeah. What do you think, Lizzie? I am going to upset my mom if my mom's still here because she loves her but I would say sadness because what really oh, annoys yeah. me inside out is how negative sadness is like you know me if I've been complaining too much in a day I'll be like right we're gonna be positive now no more negative and like if someone's constantly like complaining about something it really gets to me so I just like ignore it and now I've made my mom cry I saw. <laughs> she absolutely adores sadness Aww. But you know what? I, I kind of agree with you. I mean, you're in the happiest place on earth. There, yeah. I mean, there's little to no room for sadness. Yeah, it's like you can tell I'm not a parent here and you'll probably agree. But like when there's a kid having a tantrum, you feel like shaking them and yelling, you're in the happiest place on earth. There's no tantrums here. Just, you know, whack a no smile on your face. <laughs> I would be the parent that would be like, right, we're going home. You're not appreciating this enough. <laughs> Like, yeah, I mean, it's the happiest place on earth, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, but, yeah. I would, I find it easier to pick who I would want to go to Disneyland with, and it would probably be Rapunzel because she'd be like down for anything. Like, mountain, yes. Water ride, yes. You know, go and sit and watch a show, yes. <laughs> she'd probably sing along like louder than the cast, but that's oh, fine. <laughs> that is true. I mean, she'll definitely make the experience that much more. Um, enjoyable. Not that it's not enjoyable, but it, the excitement that Rapunzel would have would yeah. be like uh, contagious. But I would love to go with Mickey, just because I feel like Mickey would be able to give me like the best tour of the place, yeah. and Mickey like would know everybody, 
and uh, Mickey would be like the best tour guide. And Mickey's also so like happy. So either Mickey or Minnie would be great. But you know, you know, I do love Belle. Um, but I think Mickey or Minnie would probably be my, my favorite ones to kind of like go to the park with because they would be so, uh, so special. Imagine all that hair on the road. Oh my gosh. I mean, I don't have very long hair. But I feel like it has to be tied up at all times because I'm always terrified it'll get like locked into, you know, a seatbelt or something. I was just looking at that color <laughs> that you just highlighted. That's it's like a um, good idea for like a one of those shorts that uh, Disney yeah. does, you know? It would be far, far better than those forky asks a question shorts that they're doing. They're, they're not entertaining in the slightest. <laughs> But that is that is pretty interesting. I can, I would watch that just to kind of see how sadness finds some joy. <laughs> I feel like um, McDorks need to go and work for like Pixar or something now. Like I don't know whether they can draw. Maybe they can just like do the actual story. But that's like such a good idea. Yeah, I mean Christian and Michael, like they're so creative. I know that Christian is he has a lot of like good ideas. Um, he is a uh, part of the year of the ear collaboration and he was kind of telling me all the things that he's doing to make these ears. And uh Christian definitely, you know, you gotta call Disney and Pixar and be like, Hey, I have some ideas. And um, this is a great idea for a short. I mean, I don't really know anything about like making movies or anything, but that is something that I would totally watch because I would be curious to see kind of like how it ends. Yeah, but um, on that note, um, uh, we have other things to talk about too. We do. Pins. <laughs> <laughs> so this weekend we had the virtual uh pin event. Um, yeah. this is something that it's never been done as far as I know. Um. I'm just going to touch on it kind of lightly because uh, Saturday of next week, uh, Saturday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time, we're going to do Disney Pins Night Live and we're going to talk about the virtual uh, pin event. It's kind of highlights um, and reviews. Luke Antunes is going to be joining us. So is Savage Disney Pins and so is uh, Jess from Disney Jess. But just to quickly give you my opinion on it, I was a little disappointed. Um, I felt like uh, the event... Um, there's a lot of room for improvement. It's the first time they do it, but I expect it a little bit more. Um, it costs $50 to be able to participate in the event and to be able to purchase pins. Um, I felt like the website was not very user-friendly. Um, they did give you access to the website a day early, so you could get a little familiar familiarized with the website. Yeah. But I'm not a super techie person, but I feel like I do okay, you know, with like computers. <laughs> And it, it was kind of hard for me to figure out how to go about surfing the website. And um, the parts that were supposed to be interactive, like there was a section where you could message people, but you could message, and, but you couldn't reply. So like if I, if I found Lizzie in the list of guests and I messaged Lizzie, hey Lizzie, she would get the message and she wouldn't have a way to respond. She would have to look me up and send me a message. So it's like you're sending a new message each time rather than just replying on the same thread, which it, it seemed, I don't know, to me, it just kind of seemed kind of dumb to have a messaging system where you can't reply, um, which makes it a lot, uh, it doesn't make it as easy to then interact with other guests because um, that, that was one of the things about the virtual event. You were supposed to try to connect with pin traders and pin collectors from around the world. But if you can't easily communicate, like, how is that going to happen? Um, mm -hmm. The event had a series of videos that you could watch, similar to when you go to an actual uh, pin trading event in person. They talk about different topics um, and they have like, uh, you know, panel sessions and, you know, they have the different uh, pin artists talk and whatnot. So they had some videos that you could watch. But I don't know. I, I feel like if they're going to do the event like this again, it shouldn't be $50 because there was not a whole lot to do on the website. It was not very easy to navigate. Um, there was almost the interaction with other members was almost... It was very hard to do, um, and um, it, there was a badge game where you would do certain things on the website, and you would earn a badge. Um, 
So the, the, I saw Joe's comment. Uh, we got chatting to people on the discussion boards, then moved to a Zoom last night. So they had these like discussion boards or an, an activity uh, feeds and things like that. But I had trouble posting because um, you could post a picture and just write a comment. But for some reason, mine weren't posting. So maybe I just didn't really have luck with it. But I don't know. I feel like um, if they're going to do it like this again, it shouldn't be $50. Um, the gift pin and the... Uh, they had two gift pins, a welcome pin and a goodbye pin, which I'm actually going to try to share real quick so you can see it. I feel like the gift pin, um, the I mean, the welcome pin. Oh, hold on. This is the wrong one. Let me show you here. Here we go. So here. Um, so the welcome pin is supposed to be a little larger. You see that little gem next to the toe. So that is, and you can remove that and, and it's interchangeable <laughs> with uh, with the miniature pins that they were gonna have in the event. The goodbye pin is a mini pin that fits in Mickey's hand. So I feel like, I don't, I don't know how I feel about the, the gift pins, the welcome pin, the goodbye pin. The welcome pin is kind of cool, but then the goodbye pin, I feel like it should have been something different, not just like a mini pin that you can, I don't know, exchange it with a little gem on, on Mickey's hand. Um, I don't know. I was a little mm -hmm. disappointed uh, with what we got. I expected a little bit more. I do know that it's the first time they do this. And I am really grateful that they still did a, a pin event, considering, you know, the the limitations we've had this year uh, when it comes to going to the parks and, and, and people gathering together and things like that. So I'm so grateful that Disney did this. However, I just feel like for the cost, maybe we could have a little bit more, maybe um, the messaging section could have been a little more uh, flexible where you could reply. Maybe we could have some other games. The only game that I saw there was the badge game where you earn a badge. Uh, as, as long as you complete certain events. Um, I don't know. I mean, overall, it was kind of like, it was just, it was still a cool experience, but I think that, I don't know, they, they, I expected a little bit more. Um, but on that note, we also found out what the theme is going to be for next year's pin event, which is going to be uh, Disney Heroes and Villains and Epic Showdown. Um, I had no idea that this was going to be the, the the theme. I had no idea what next year's theme was going to be. I think this is cool. It's just something different. I can see why um, the Disney Designer Collection had the villains um, this year. Just to kind of get everybody kind of like in the mood. Um, I just yeah. saw our pioneers come and they had trivia randomly throughout the day. I, I missed that. I did have to work on Friday. So I was kind of popping in and out throughout the day. Uh, at least I didn't get to see the trivia. The only thing that I got to play was the badge game. But I don't know. I feel like I expect a little bit more, but you know, everybody, uh, as long as everybody had a good time, I guess that's really what matters. But I'm pretty excited for uh, next year's uh, theme. What do you think about the theme, Lizzie? I think it's good. I mean, obviously, they're hoping that this one will be in person, so I won't be able to attend this one. Um, I just find it really strange that they did a virtual pin trading thing. I suppose they don't really know just how easy it is to pin trade online anyway because you know you've added me to a facebook group i've seen people trading on instagram things like that i wonder how much actual trading went on or maybe it was just like networking it feels like it was more of a networking event yeah i i did see some people posting on the activity feed and um you know some pictures of their traders some people were dropping like their instagram handles to like connect outside of that um which you know that is one way to interact um, I, I didn't do any kind of trading through the event because really yesterday was the only day that I really had to kind of like go more hands on uh, when it comes to the event. But I, I did expect a little bit more. I still think that the website was kind of not very user friendly. Um, but, you know, I, I'm so grateful that Disney, that Disney uh, did the event anyway. And um, I'm pretty um, excited to see what the pins are going to look like for next year's event. And yeah, hopefully next year will be a uh, an, an in-person event. So um, I am I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, one of the things that, that I did enjoy about the event was that we did have a preview of a bunch of pins. And with that, we had a preview of, let me see if I am, um, me here. 
I'm gonna try to, my screen just keeps on splitting in half. Bear with me. <laughs> There's like a pop-up that shows up of like my emails. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna try to show some of the holiday pins that are coming up. So I have to, uh, let me see, let me go back here. And a lot of these pins are just so, so cute. Uh, we have uh, the gifting, holiday gifting and advent release. So these are really cute. So you have the different holiday pins there. Um, you even have the advent calendar, which I know it already came out on Shop Disney UK. We're still kind of waiting for it on our Shop Disney, but they have a lot of cute pins. The only thing is that we don't have a, um, we don't have any release dates on the flyers, just more like upcoming. Yeah, I noticed that. Um, yeah, I mean, they're still really cool. I feel like they did, they did this last year too. They had these little like gift pins that came in like a little box like that. I think it's a really nice concept and it's a really cute like gift for like a stocking stuffer. So those are um, really cute. Do you have a favorite of these, um, Lizzie? My favorite is the Coco one. Um, I was like eyeing it up this morning to see like whether I could ask um, Jodie and Laura to get it for me, but I don't like know when it's coming out so like there's one that they've previewed that i think is one of december's pin releases and i okay. really really want it but Let me see if I can without find without a um a release date i don't really know what to do you can't be like hey can you go to like disney springs every single day between now and you know december 24th it's i know <laughs> release dates like surely they know you know, at least a week that it's going to be released, even if they don't know the exact day. Yeah, so, I mean, these are really cute. I, I, they have, oh my gosh, they have so many cute pins. Like, um, that one Thanksgiving pin on top is so cute. And I believe that one was already released. And, um, because I feel like I saw some pictures of that on Instagram already. Um, but I really like these little, um, ornaments type pins and i love the you know bell and beast pin i think it, it's so cute um and even you know the the mystery pin set at the bottom the 12 days of christmas that's a really cute yeah. pin set too oh my goodness and the christmas countdown 2020 pin with the castle Ooh, i really like that one yeah so you're hoping to get those too yeah, so I'm hoping to get the Countdown pin and the Beauty and the Beast pin. I think um, those are really, really cute. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get any other ones. I mean, the Epcot one with Figment is super cute, too. Uh, now, did you were you hoping to get any of these, Lizzie, or more like the Disneyland one, which I have the flyer for that one, too? Um, I'm struggling to see some of them, but I, I don't think there's any that really, like, scream out at me. Um, there's just a very specific person on one of the pins, but I don't think it was the Christmas pin poster. I think it was just the regular December pin poster. Oh, okay. it's just like this. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> it's, it's funny because they're kind of tiny on my end too. So I was just like really close to the camera. Yeah. When um, I was trying to look at the pins, I was looking at my phone. So I was like this. <laughs> Oh, uh, and this is the Disneyland one. I'm going to share this one too. So, I mean, I think for the most part, all the, the pins are pretty, you know, similar. Um, yeah, I don't they think they've made many exclusives this year, have they? Um, I don't remember, but what I am actually looking at is that this Haunted Mansion Holiday uh, Disneyland exclusive mystery pin set. I think that's so cute, and I'm really liking that gingerbread. Um, house and gingerbread man style i think that yeah this is super cute right here and they do have you know it looks like they have a, a countdown pin here too is it a countdown yeah. pin it's kind of hard for me to see too <laughs> um I but they say, have... i'm a sucker for anything that's haunted mansion holiday um i've noticed that there's an ornament that's only in disneyland for haunted mansion holiday and i want it so badly <laughs> oh yeah they they oh my gosh they i feel like all of these Christmas pins or holiday pins are always so pretty. I, I feel like these the holiday pins or the Christmas pins are, are typically like the prettiest designs that you get. Um, yeah. So I'm really excited uh, for those. But these are some of the things that we saw uh, during the pin event. Um, and yeah, I am really excited for all these uh, Christmas pins uh, that we have coming out. Yeah, um, the only pin I've seen recently that I really, really want to get is the Walt Disney Day pin. I think it's available in both California and 
Florida, so I've asked Jodie and Laura to get it for me. Um, I think Walt Disney Day is the 15th of December. Okay. I have last year's pin, but it doesn't have a date on it because I'm never sure whether it's his birthday or the day he passed. Okay. So it's either the 5th or the 15th. Or they could just completely screw me over and make it like the 10th, like, you know, in between. Um, Yeah. And I I think I forgot to mention earlier, Minnie Mouse for December is going to be the 10th in the UK, which I quite like because it means that I haven't got to worry so close to Christmas. True. Because we break up for work on the 24th. So to be trying to buy something on the 18th when I'm really, really trying to like keep ahead of my work so that there's nothing left over the Christmas period would be terrible. And it does mean that it should be with me quite like, you know, with enough time before Christmas that I can film my video because I got my Vlogmas schedule sorted. And then this arrived. So I'm going to do what McDuck's told me to do and I'm going to do a Halloween video in December because I've just got nowhere else to unbox the video, really. Um, so I've got to move my mini to Boxing Day. I don't know whether you guys have Boxing Day, but it's basically the public holiday the day after Christmas. Okay. So I've seen it on the calendar. Yeah. So this is going to sound like a dumb question, but are there like boxing matches or something that day? I don't actually know what the tradition is, why it's called that. I'm really hoping Joe knows from Park Pioneer because I'm sure someone told me once. But it's just really strange. Like, um, we have a public holiday. So Christmas Day is Friday this year. And because Saturdays and Sundays are, you know, weekends, the replacement day for Boxing Day is the 28th, the Monday. So I'm off from the 24th of December to the 2nd of January. So like once I hit that, I can relax, but I need to have filmed the video that's going to go up on the 26th so that I'm not like rushing and doing it on Christmas Eve because I don't want to film anything Christmas weekend, not at all. Oh yeah, I, I can't imagine. I mean, you're just going to want that weekend to yourself to kind of like relax. Yeah um so but uh but hey it's an extra holiday yeah i mean it's one of those things um whether it if it didn't fall on a saturday we would have got that bank holiday anyway so like every year at my job i just have to book three days off work because there's only three non-bank holidays or weekends between those two points so they've already automatically booked it off for me which is nice it just means that I actually get to relax at Christmas. I always worked in a shop over Christmas, which you can imagine is very, very crazy. Um, so I'm very grateful for it. But it doesn't mean that I can film anything because I'll just be sleeping, basically. So I'm halfway through my, vlog my Vlogmas videos. I really need to put my tree up <laughs> so that it doesn't look obvious that I filmed them all in November. But the tree is going to be right beside me. So next week on your channel, you're going to get a glimpse of my tree. Oh, <laughs> I might like excited. position myself like that so that you can see the tree. But yeah, that's very exciting. I don't oh. usually put it up this early, but last year I didn't work all of December. So all of my Vlogmas videos were filmed in December and I don't have that luxury this year. Yeah, I am. Um, I think I was telling you, you know, backstage. So I took that. Yeah, I took that all my Halloween and, and fall decorations yesterday. So yeah, and why well, I did mention that earlier too. So I'm excited to put up my Christmas tree. But we only put up the one Christmas tree downstairs in the living room. Um, how many do you guys put up in your house? <laughs> so there's the living room tree. There mm -hmm. used to be a tree in the porch in our old house, but I think that'll go in the conservatory this year. My dad wants an Avengers tree. So I've had to like scrabble to find Avengers decorations that he can put on his tree. And I think I might put a tree in my office so that when I'm in meetings, there's like a Christmas tree behind me. I thought that would be quite nice. So how many trees is that? Five trees? <laughs> now, are these <laughs> full-size trees or are they like little trees? Um, Mine and the living room tree will be full-size. And then my office... The conservatory in my dad's office will be like the like three foot trees that are like okay. half size. And then I've got one like behind the camera. I posted it on Instagram today. Where all my sullies are, I've got a little tiny bright blue Christmas tree. Oh, that's exciting. 
I'm so excited for Christmas. Um, Me too. I was um, looking at Dominic's question. Lizzie and Mel, would you rather live in the Haunted Mansion with Ursula for a year or with Captain Hook? Ooh. Captain Hook. Because yeah. Because Captain Hook comes with Smee, and Smee is my favorite Peter Pan character. I think that... I'm thinking maybe Captain Hook also, just because I feel like Ursula is just kind of like a hater. So, <laughs> like, just the fact that, that we were we're girls and she would just be like, I don't know, a hater and kind of like difficult to work with. So, <laughs> probably Captain Hook, you know? Probably Captain she, Hook. She was just trolling me now. <laughs> Hashtag Sully. <laughs> Um, yeah, you never know. Maybe you'll get your um, Sully co like, uh, collection next year. I mean, I feel like you're pretty good at like um, kind of like anticipating what these next things are going to be, like themes and things like yeah. that. So maybe I mean, you'll get your trying, wish. I'm just trying to think of like big anniversaries coming up. I mean, Minnie's was a shock because everyone thought Minnie would immediately follow Mickey, given that they were 90 in the same year. Um, but then we got Wisdom. We obviously missed out on Donald's because it was Shanghai exclusive. I only have one. I've got January's. Um, and I don't think anyone else... It, obviously, Pluto's anniversary was this year. So it really wouldn't make sense to do 12 Plutos next year. And they already um, released that, like, pleather plush for his 90th, which was probably to gauge popularity for a full 12 Pluto collection. And it's yeah. still... Um, still on in on the Shop Disney UK website because I almost bought it to get the Christmas key on Monday and um, which I do actually oh, have yes. yes we gotta talk about the keys oh my so god it's released on Monday and there's the tag it's oh, really it's really so cute. cute I mean it's a little bit bent I didn't notice that um I don't know what I'm gonna do with that I think I've got to like bend it back um but I should be able to and the make a wish plush released as well so this is oh. from the television advert my mom thinks it's creepy he's got like a stitched ear but i think oh. he's super adorable. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a little... i kept saying that's a star of david isn't it and she was like no that's not a star of david that's six points i was like oh so is this like a regular star she's like yeah it's a regular star oh but i just think it's so cute <laughs> i didn't realize that so the star of david has six points yeah, um, I remember oh. it was the only it was the only star I could draw as a kid because you'd like do a triangle, and then you'd do a triangle the opposite way, and it made six points. But I just think oh. the way they've done it, like I don't know whether you can see, there's like lines there, and yeah. the Star of David has lines, so I got confused thinking it was yeah. the Star of David. But it's such a nice plush, such a big size it's, as well. It is like, big. It's huge. <laughs> Um, I'm going to do a plush review with this. Luckily, I haven't filmed the plush review of the like Christmas plushes, so I'm just going to put him in with that because I really don't have any more room for any more videos. Like, I've got three box swaps, two collaborations, so that's already five videos. And then I've got, you know, like my monthly things, like my mini. There's got to be two minis in December because I don't want to wait until January to show the December mini. Right. Um, I've cancelled my pop in a box today, which is really, really sad. But I'd been thinking about it for a while. But I got the chip pop today. <laughs> Spoiler oh my God. for November's video, but I got the chip pop. That pop is so cute. Like, it was, it was one of my latest pop acquisitions and i love that chip pop it's so cute pop pioneer said that the five ones are pentagram but i thought that was seven for some reason <laughs> i don't know i'm so bad with my stars so like but i mean the, the pentagram it, it, i did think about the pentagram um but then again i thought like the evil one was the one that's just like the upside down star anyway um yeah, I yeah. a whole different theme but um <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> um, I was looking at uh, Dominic's comment. Um, I didn't know that Dominic uh, collected Ursula, but I did manage to get the Ursula pin set from the Disney uh, designer collection because I did manage to get all the pins. Sorry, I'm so close to the camera. I'm trying to grab the pins. Um, <laughs> so I have all the pins here, and I was super happy to get the Ursula pins um, because I feel like yeah. these are pretty cool. Um, so have you got all the ones you're missing now or are you still yeah, missing them? I do. Oh, and I have an I have an extra one because I have an extra Maleficent that I had gotten as a trader. 
um, just in case I need to trade for these. So I have two Maleficents, I have the Lady Tremaine, and then I got um, Evil Queen last week, and then I got um, the rest of the pins that I needed um, here yesterday. So I managed to get Hades, Ursula, and um, and Isma, which is over there. I think this is just the Evil Queen. I have them all there. So yeah, like I'm excited to get them, but then I didn't realize that buying them all together was going to be so much because each pin set is $30. So I got three yesterday. So it's like almost a hundred bucks. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I tried to get my Disney Visa discount. And I feel like depending who you get or depending on the time they either give you the discount or not. So I had a coupon because for the holidays, there's this special Disney Visa discount. I believe it's 20% rather than 10%. Okay. So I came with my coupon. I'm like, hey, can I use it? They were like, no. I'm like, darn it. So mm -hmm. yeah. full price for these three pins. But I mean, I, I have been collecting the Disney designer collection pins for the last three years. So, I mean, I don't mind it collecting it. Like mm -hmm. I have some of the, like the very, I have the, over there is the first designer <laughs> collection uh, from like 2018 that I got. And then over here, uh, is there all the way at the bottom uh, next to the burn book? I love that you frame them. <laughs> uh, so I try to do that, I try to like put them somewhere where they're like displayed, you know, nicely, I guess. So these are the ones from 2019 next to the burn book. Uh, so, and then now I have the ones for 2020. So definitely pin collecting gets a little pricey sometimes. So I try to kind of like stick to the things that I like. Otherwise, yeah. I'd be in trouble. I've got to say, I was thinking about it the other day. We're about to get November's Minnie Mouse. I said I wouldn't get the pin book because I wouldn't get all 12. I've got 10. So why didn't I get the pin book? I mean, I like the way I have them. But, you know, why didn't I get the pin book? <laughs> they do look nice, though. So if you don't get the pin book, your setup looks really nice, looks very Thank organized. Um, and I think that it just looks so nicely with the little uh, tripod thing you have, the, the pins yeah. on, and then the dolls behind it, I mean, the plushies behind him. I think that it looks really nice. So if you don't get it, yeah. don't the get it. The only thing is I've kept them in the plastic all this time. If I'm being honest with myself, I think it's because I'd part with some if I don't get all 12 because I think. I'd get rid of ones I don't like. Mm hmm but I think once I've secured all 12, I might take the plastic off. Because if you look at Dumbo Mini, like there's so much glare right yeah. now that somebody's probably blinded by it. But um, yeah, I think it would be best to take the plastic off. Because especially when I take my Instagram pictures, there's always one that has glare. No matter how much I try and move myself to try and get them all perfect there's always one that's got glare so yeah. i think once i know i've got them all and i don't need to worry about having to sell any then i'm going to take the plastic off i am um, i have mine in the book with the plastic i feel like sometimes if i leave pins out um you know with like the air and stuff the pins start yeah. feeling kind of funny like i'm sure that the pins behind me the little map if i was to touch it, it you know I how they start that. feeling kind of huh I love that. I don't think I've ever asked before. What are they like? Are they Disney so, or are they for the states? So these are the uh, um, what's it called? The America's Adventure. I forget right now what it's called. Um, yeah. But this was uh, it was an actual pin set from Disney, and it came. It was two pins in a box. I believe they were twenty dollars a piece. And then you had the regular pieces, and you also had the chasers. So the regular pieces are the color ones, and there's some that are black and white that which would be the chasers so this was very expensive to complete <laughs> um but like i remember going and we got 10 boxes that's already 200 dollars right there in 10 boxes and obviously you know i'm, I'm not going to complete at all so i had to you know tr uh, trade so um it was a pretty fun one to collect especially because it did make the map of the united states these are some um extras that i have on the side right there uh, because I had most likely the chasers in mixed in with the, yeah. the colored ones. Um, some people had two maps. Some people did a map of all the colored pieces, which are the regular yeah. pieces. And some people completed the map with the chasers, the black and white. With me, I thought it was easier just to kind of mix in the pieces and call it a day. Um, 
But yeah, those pins that I leave out like that, after a while, when you touch them, they kind of feel kind of funny to the touch because the metal has yeah. been exposed to the air. Uh, so I'm thinking about maybe trying to um, frame these with like glass in the front just to kind of protect yeah. them. So I so I don't know if I would take the wrapper of your pins like that because then maybe mm, you may get yeah. that like kind of funny feeling on the pins once they've been exposed to like um, air for a yeah. while. That, like, I never like, about that. I might yeah. just have to be a bit more careful like where I put the light on because I've I've put that I've got two lights in my room so I've put that one on instead of that one and that one probably wouldn't have put any glare onto the pins um it's just about guessing the lighting sometimes um I filmed the other day about half past seven in the morning and it was so dark outside <laughs> it was Aww. like I was filming it at night but you gotta do what you gotta do <laughs> But That's that pin right. set is so cool. I mean, I'd really struggle to like put the map together because like I remember I watched a friend's episode where they all had to guess the states, like name them all, and I did terribly. Um I just it's not taught here. It's really not. Um, it's okay. Um I I feel like I've stared at your map a lot for the past like month. <laughs> oh, like it, it don't feel bad because I feel like if they gave me just like a blank map and they're like, okay, write in all the states, I'd be like, mm, I can get like yeah. mm, maybe like five of those. Yeah, uh. it's like um, <laughs> Joe sent me a link once, my Joe, not part pioneer Joe. And you had to like guess where all the states were by like tapping them. And I was doing so bad. I got all the Carolinas wrong. I got all the Dakotas wrong. Oh, uh, like I, I know. I'd be like, I didn't know it was there. It's like when you say to me that you're not far from. Is it Philadelphia that you're not right. far from? Mm -hmm. I get so confused. I'm like, I thought Philadelphia was down by Texas. <laughs> so it's a, like, you know why? So with me, if I had to put in like the the states um, in like a blank map, it sounds so horrible. But, you know, to, to my defense, I forget stuff. But I obviously I can pinpoint Florida because it's pretty easy to pick yeah. out. Um, I can pinpoint Texas because it's, it's huge. And yeah. Oklahoma because it's right above it in New Jersey because I live there um and then I have to really study the map I know New York is like right above me but I just want to make sure that I don't pick like a different state I'm sure, I'm sure I can pick up New York oh my god this is so sad um uh, but like you know obviously I would do like not that great then I would have to start yeah. guessing the rest of the state so I can do uh them oh and I can do California I can do California too so you see I have like I, think I did five. California wrong when I did it I mean I've I've been to California three times and I got it wrong. I think I put it where Arizona is and I've been to Arizona as well. It's ridiculous. Um, I've done California, Arizona, Nevada, Florida, and New York. And I think that's it. I think. We did have plans to go to Washington when I was younger and then that fell through. Um, we were going to do Washington and somewhere else. And I think the tour kind of went into Canada. And I've always wanted to go to Canada. Like, I don't know why. I think it's because I'm obsessed with maple. Like, anything maple. Um, Jodie and Laura sent me some maple Oreos. And they're sat next to me. Because I um, haven't told anyone that I've got them. I'm just squirreling them away. <laughs> Aww. Well, now that you're talking about Oreos, you know that I sent you a box with some Oreos, but... Yes. I, Which is coming on Tuesday. Tell, yeah, I'm not telling you what kind of Oreos they are. Um, they're not the regular Oreos. I had never seen these before. And I was like, well, hopefully Lizzie likes them. So, <laughs> Well, like you said, if I don't like them, there's bound to be someone in my house that will like them. So... <laughs> yeah, so... um. Yeah, so let's see. I think we pretty much covered all the topics today. We, you know, last week we did have the Fantasia key and pin release in the States. Did you guys get it too or that's coming up soon? We've got it this Friday. So I'm going to try to get it. Um, but the Up NYCC pop also releases that day. So that's kind of like my priority because of the Up collection there. But um, Park Pioneer are going to help me, you know two pairs of hands trying to get it um we've obviously got mini on wednesday so it's going to be a very expensive week and yeah. we're celebrating this week it is my parents 30th wedding anniversary oh well, happy anniversary <laughs> i haven't got them a gift because 
I have no idea what to get them. Um, I usually get them like a voucher to go for a meal, but until the first week of December, all restaurants are closed. So that seems like pointless. Sounds but, like you're cooking, um, Lizzie. Yeah. <laughs> We're all gonna be together. I don't cook anything. Um, I cook sausage rolls, and that's it. I don't even know whether you guys get sausage rolls. I think they might be called something else. Mm. They cocktail wieners. Oh, okay. Like sausages in pastry. Like like pigs in a blanket. I think um, they, 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 pigs in a blanket little... to us are sausages in um bacon, which is oh, a bit weird. <laughs> So if I'm not mistaken, ours are just like little tiny sausages wrapped with like a little pastry around it. Yeah. Kind of like, uh, yes. So, okay. So you're making those? Is that what they call them? Pigs in blankets? That's so I weird. Believe, I believe that's what they call them. Uh, the pigs in a, that's, I think that's what they, they're called. Um, so, and it should be that. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, <laughs> McDorks, let me know if I am wrong. But I think that's what Pixel Blanket is. So, but listen, maybe you can cook them a meal. That would be your anniversary present. I would give them food poisoning as a gift. <laughs> oh. I, oh. Don't, I don't cook, um, like, at all. Um, I order the Uber Eats if we're going to have a meal. <laughs> okay, there you go. Uh, we had Kentucky Fried Chicken on Friday, and I had to order it, like, no, I ordered it the week before. My mum ordered it this week. Like, Friday is becoming Kentucky Fried Chicken Day. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. And I'm actually off Thursday and Friday this week, so I've only got three days at work to do, which means I'm gonna, I am gonna. should be quite refreshed when I see you on your stream next week, Mel. Oh, well, that's it. Um, well, it's, I'm glad that you have a couple of days off just to kind of give you some time to relax and unwind and, and just, you know have a long weekend so that's always nice what have you got coming up on your channel this week so as usual we have some pin videos uh coming up and then saturday night we're gonna do uh disney pins night life at 8 p.m with uh disney jazz savage disney pins and look and tune so we're gonna be talking about uh the virtual pin event and everybody kind of be giving their um opinions and talking about different uh parts of the uh, virtual penny van. And then Sunday, we're gonna do Disney Collector Chat on my channel. And then, um, yeah, just, uh, you know, pin videos coming up. And um, I think that's pretty much it. So uh, what about you, Lizzie? What do you have uh, coming up? I'm really enjoying only having two videos a week at the minute. So Tuesday is my Sum Sum collection. It's actually my second to last Sum Sum collection video. And that's going to be my Disneyland Paris, Alani, and Disney Cruise Line some sums. And then on Friday, it, I've literally named the video more Coco Wishables. It's me trying to complete the set. I I did better than I did the first time. Okay. But let's just say Hector makes an appearance again. <laughs> Hector strikes again. Yes. <laughs> um, I have managed to buy the last one I needed, but it's currently in melrose park in illinois so okay. hopefully it's with me by christmas but we'll see everything i order seems to get stuck in illinois and i don't know why oh maybe you're meant to visit there one day maybe <laughs> chicago <laughs> zoom 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 you make my hair oh i love it <laughs> Aww. I do love some sums. I've actually bought some on the internet today through, you know, as I always say, I know a guy. Um, he put a post up and he was like, does anyone need this some sum? And I was like, yes, please. So eventually there's going to be another some sum collection video, but probably not till about February because once I've done my Star Wars one, which is next month, I'll have no some sums to show. Oh my goodness. Well, I I mean, you're almost done with Zoom Zooms this year. That's crazy. I know. And then I'm going on to Wishables. Um, I obviously don't have as many Wishables as I do some sums. So the Wishables will only take a few months to show all of them. Although every month I seem to be accumulating, you know, three to five more at least. Um, and then I've got Tiny Big Feet to show, which was, you know, the craze before Wishables. I've got, I've already shown my Ufoofies, which came after some sums. I've just got 
so many collections that I need to show. But they're all great. Yeah. Aw, I was uh, responding. I was typing, but I'm slow typer here. I was talking about Xenon. I forgot it all about Xenon. Um, that movie came out ages ago. Oh my goodness. You remember Xenon? No. <laughs> so it was a Disney Channel movie. And um, it was, um, I forget the girl's name. It's a blonde girl. And then her friend was Raven from like Dad's So Raven. Oh, yeah. Um, and Oh, my God, just call me a fake fan. <laughs> <laughs> um, I forget. Look, Xenon is such an old movie. I haven't seen this movie in like 10 plus years. Um, but I guess Zoom, 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 you make my heart go boom, boom. It's a line from the movie. There you go. That's why boom. I didn't get it then. <laughs> Throwback uh, Sunday, I guess. Um, but yeah, you know, as usual, you know, we, time flies when we're having fun. You know, yeah. it's past the hour so yeah you know thank you guys so much for joining us today. thank you for joining and uh we will see you next sunday so happy sunday and we'll see you soon yep have a great week guys bye, bye.